So hello and welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. My name is Shivam and today in this video we will understand how to use the insert into statement in MariaDB. So we start off this video by understanding what is the use of insert into statement in MariaDB. Then we will understand how we can use this statement to insert single as well as multiple records into a MariaDB table. After this we will understand how we can insert rows in MariaDB using the select statement. Then we will understand how to insert distinct records from one table to another in MariaDB and in the end we will understand how we can return records while inserting data in a MariaDB table using the insert into statement. So without any further delay let's start off with the very first topic and understand what is the use of insert into statement in MariaDB. So in MariaDB we use the insert into statement to insert some data within our table. So this is the basic syntax of using the insert into statement in MariaDB. First we specify this insert into statement, then we need to specify the table name, then we specify certain fields or we can say the column names for which we want to provide the value. Then we specify the values keyword and after this we specify the specific values for the corresponding fields. So if we closely look this syntax, in this syntax we need to specify the name of the table in place of this tab underscore name then instead of field 1 field 2 we can specify the column names then instead of value 1 value 2 we have to specify the required values for the corresponding column now let's understand this thing with the help of an example so here we can see one example where we are using this create table statement to create a table with the name department for the columns we have defined id of integer data type name age and again department after this we are using this insert into statement where we have specified department as our table name then we have specified column names for example id name age and department then we have specified the values keyword and then we have specifying the values for the corresponding column for example 101 is the id adam is the name 32 is the age and accounts is the department name so here we can see uh, once we execute this statement a table with one row will be created within our database now let's practically execute this thing so here we have taken one more example so in this first we are using this create table statement to create a table with name usa underscore library and for the columns we have only specified two columns first is the book id second is the book name and after this we are using the insert into statement where we have specified usa underscore library as a table name then we have specified the column names and then we have specified one value where 105 is the book id and name of the book is harry potter so now let's execute this statement after successfully executing this statement let's use the select statement to check whether the data has been inserted or not so if I execute here we can see one record has been successfully inserted within our table. So till now we have seen how we can insert one record in our table. Now let's take another example to insert multiple records. So here we can see another example. Again uh, here what we have done we have taken this insert into statement. We have specified the column names then we have used this values keyword. Now it is important here to specify values. Uh, we cannot specify value here because it will return an error instead so we have to specify the values keyword then this is our first set of value where 106 is the id and this is the name and then we have specified a comma and in this manner we have specified four different rows now let's execute this statement so after execution let's again use this select statement to see the result so here we can see the data has been successfully inserted now let's come to the next topic and in this topic we will understand how we can insert data into a table using select statement in MariaDB. So till now what we are doing we were manually specifying each row of data for our table uh, but what if we want to copy some data from another table. So in that case we can use the select statement with insert into statement. So when we use these uh, insert into statement with select statement we don't have to specify the row values. Instead we can simply use a select statement as the data source for the insert statement. So here is the syntax we are, we are doing. We are first using this insert into statement uh, specifying the table name specifying the column list. Then instead of values we are using the select statement where we will select certain set of columns from another table by specifying certain condition. So let's understand this thing with the help of an example. So here I am back on this tool. Now uh, in this example uh, what we will do we will create one table. So this is the query for creating a table with name country table. 
and then we are inserting certain rows in this table so what we are doing we are inserting 10 records in this country table let's execute this now let's use the select statement to check so here we can see the whole table data now next what we will do we will create another table but for that we will use the values from this table now let's see the next query execution so for next creating this another table with name usa underscore state underscore table we have specified certain columns for it and we are using the insert into statement just like we do and then we are using the select statement where we are selecting country code from country table then the state name from this table and we are fetching all the records where the country name is united states so if we look back in our table so this table basically consists data for multiple countries for example united states as well as new zealand canada but uh, what we are doing for this table we are fetching all the rows which belongs to the united states country let's execute this now again let's use the select statement to check the result so here we can see the final result now let's move to the next topic for the next topic we will understand how we can insert distinct records from one table to another table so for this example implementation again we will create one table insert some records in it the name of this table is usa underscore states and these are certain state names let's execute this and again let's check the data using the select statement here is this data now if you look the data closely there are certain uh, duplicate records in this table for example new york is repeated arizona record is repeated alabama record is also repeated so we will again try to use the select statement to insert some data into a new table but this time we will try to neglect this duplicate records for this purpose we will simply use the distinct keyword in mariadb so here what we are doing uh, we are again creating another table with name new state we have specified three columns for it and then we are simply using this insert into statement specifying the column values but this time instead of using simply select we are using select distinct and we have specifying the specified columns from the USA states table so if we execute this and check the value for this new table so here we can see all the duplicate records are been neglected and all the distinct and unique records have been inserted into this new state table so this is the key role of using the select distinct statement now let's come to the next topic and understand how we can return a data while inserting certain records in the MariaDB table so for this purpose we will execute this simple example in this example first we are creating this department table with three columns in it and then we are again using this insert into statement specifying the column values specifying the values keyword then specifying the rows values so here we have specified five rows and then after specifying the values for our table we are using this returning statement and with the returning state we have to pass all the column names that we want to return so for this example we have specified three column names department name department table and department location so once we execute the above script it will return all the inserted records so now let's click on the execute till now in our previous examples we were using select statement separately to check the data of our table but by using the returning clause with the insert into statement we will instantly get all the records that have been recently inserted into a table so with this we have come to the end of this video in this video we have understand how we can use the insert into statement in mariadb we have taken multiple examples how we can insert single records as well as multiple records using the insert into statement then we have understand how we can copy a data from one table to insert it into another table and in the end we have also understand how we can instantly return the inserted records while using the insert into statement so if you really like this video, please press the like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more related stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.